I'm Charlie from Short Block Charlie's Pro One Racing. Uh, I'm trying to clear up some things about offset valve seats and some of the things that have been said on the forums and see if I can help assist you to understand what this is all about. What is an offset valve seat profile? Is it offset? Is it an oval design? Or is it OB round? The angles that offsets are below the valve seat contact angle. The contact angle and angles above the valve contact angle are concentric to the valve guide axis. Offset angles profile and location. They can be located in the following points. You can have them at zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees. You can use a combination of these offsets. The above is determined by the port angle to the cylinder head design. You may want to vary the offset angle. It's, it's all adjustable to what you want to do here on offset valve seat angles. What is the advantage of an offset seat angles? They en enhance airflow all the way through the valve lift from low lift all the way up. They, they seem to keep increasing airflow and port velocity. They can also be used to assist airflow and port velocity in a specific area of a port. This can be seen when, of course, when we reverse flow a cylinder head. We can probe it and we can offset and make the air go into that area. You can alter the port width and not affect the port throat area. This is very important. And it equals the airflow and port velocity through a port. Here's a cylinder head. This is a, a Harley-Davidson SE110 that's being reverse flowed. Uh, it's on the flow bench here. And we can do is we can take a probe and we can go around here and see where the airflow. What I call zero degrees is right there, zero, 90, 180, 270 is where we do offsets on valve seats. And that, when you see the head is weak, you can work on the offset in that particular area. Kind of sad, this cylinder head, you go check the throat ratio right out of the get go. It's, it's not very good. It's got 92% throat ratio. You'd want to keep most cylinder heads in the 80, 89, 88 to 90 uh, throat ratio to the valve. Various heads examples. I wanted to show you. This is a CRF 450 head. This is a 2010. Notice how the intake track is very steep here. Okay, this is that cylinder head. Now we can start showing you the offset angles. As you can see, on the exhaust side, this is zero degrees. This is where the offset's at on this particular cylinder head. And then, so the offset's there. You go to the intake. You go on the intake side. As you can see here, you can see the offset, and it's still at the zero, zero degrees. I always consider zero degrees to the to the inside port of the, of the port, not onto the short side radius. We also, as you can see, this has been ported by us. We use a textured finish on our intake ports and a sanding roll finish on the exhaust. Okay, now here's this M8 cylinder head, the new Harley Davidson four valve head. As you can see, look at how the intake on this particular head is straight, and of course it's gonna bend around because the carburetor or the fuel injection is on the side on this motor. So what we've done on the M8 head is where we're finding the most airflow is at the 90 and 270 degrees. So this is the, the intake, intake side. And as you can see, we've went and we've enhanced it on both sides there, which in, opens up the area, but we didn't uh, change the thro uh, throat ratio. I want to thank you for watching. Check us out on Short Block Charlie Pro and Racing on YouTube or go to our websites. There's lots of valuable information. Thanks again for watching.